Hi, it's Helvetica here. I'm back with a very special demo slash uh, tutorial on the iPad Pro and Apple Pencil and what it can do for you um, in your fashion design, fashion design technology career. It is amazing. I'd recommend if you're serious about fashion design and drafting, sketching, whatever, the thing is awesome. And I'm not an Apple fanboy or anything. I have a Samsung Galaxy watch and I have the Note. Oh, we're not gonna get into that. I'm only a fan of things that work perfect for me. And in this case, the Apple iPad Pro and the Apple Pencil work perfect for me and my career. Um, so we're gonna get to this. We're going to use the bodice block front and back. Quick tutorial slash demo on getting that into your iPad Pro. Even easier on than the MacBook Pro or whatever you use. That's a printout I did. I um, drafted it and then emailed it to myself on my MacBook and then printed it. You can print from the iPad Pro, but it's really buggy right now. That's another test print I did. So let's get started. I may, I'm gonna go through this kind of quickly and I know I always say that, but that's because I only have a 16 gig phone and memory fills up fast. Okay, let's get started. Let's start with a quick demo or maybe a quick bragging of what the iPad can do. So here's the iPad Pro. It's like 12.9 inch screen, 12.2, 12.9, I think it's 12.9. Uh, it's amazing. The graphic app right here, this is great for drafting. You can see I've drafted several patterns already on it and it's, it's amazing. I love it. I really, I love it. Uh, not only that, but the concepts app, if you like doing fashion sketching, drawing, and design, you can use this. This thing works really well. You can see I did a couple doodles already. Now the cool thing about this is I didn't sketch as much before. I know that's kind of crappy or whatever, but you know, you have fun. <laughs> you have fun. Um, but yeah, she's creepy looking. I draw a lot of creepy things. I guess I'm a creepy person. I'm sorry. Um, this app is cool and with this, it's just, it really encourages you to draw. There's like, a lot of people say virtually no latency, which means there's not any, it's almost literally like drawing with a pen, um, meaning it, it the line keeps up with the point, but you can see right there that it kind of has a little bit of lag. That does not matter. That doesn't stop me from loving this thing. Um, so this thing is really awesome for sketching. This is a lace dress I did. I saw, um, if anyone knows who Cutie Pie Marcy is, she was wearing one of these dresses and I had to draw it because I loved it so much. My, I might make it. Okay, so that's kind of some of the capabilities of the iPad Pro, but I don't wanna run out of memory on my phone, so let's kind of get straight to the good stuff. We are going to do what I've done before and we're going to copy a basic bodice block into here so that we can print it and draft more designs. Now, this app is limited. Um, you can copy blocks, but it's a little harder to, des to design within the program. You've seen me on other tutorials design within the program, like the lacy mesh dress I did. Um, I'm gonna still tinker with it, and when I perfect it, I'm gonna do more tutorials. So let's start. We have our artboard. Here it is. So we go to this right here and we wanna make it a width, I'm gonna do it like 18 length or height, 20. But we can change that later as needed. Units and scale, we want it at inches, right? Or centimeters if you're not um, like us. <laughs> you were a little behind, we still use inches. Um, grids and rulers, so I've said this plenty of times, you want your subdivisions to be at eight, now this I don't understand, but it says spacing. I don't know what it is, but I've just been doing one eighth of an inch anyways. One eighth of an inch is, um, so to fi figure that out, you do one divided by eight on the calculator, 0.125. So we'll do 0 0.125, 0 0.125. I've been doing it like that and it's still been working out. If you know what it means, tell me, cause I've tried everything and there's no difference. I'll probably figure it out later, okay. Uh, show grid, yes. Snap to grid, no. Snap to points, no. Smart guides on, yes. Show rulers, yes. Preferences, uh, that looks all good to me so far. Now, we want to go over here. This is like a picture on picture icon. And we wanna take 
the picture that I just took. So since I've originally done this tutorial, the original tutorial I did a year and a half, almost two years ago, a lot has changed since then. We're not going to get into that now. If you want me to get into it, let me know in the comments below and we can do a really detailed uh, tutorial with all the new things I've learned. We've got the picture here and that's our little artboard. So we're going to shrink it. We want to lock the aspect ratio here. I just unlocked it. I'm going to relock it. And then we want to take the, uh, I don't know if it's direct select. I've been using an illustrator for years and I still don't know direct select or not, but it's the left arrow and we're going to shrink it down. This is so easy. Do you see how easy that is? This is even easier than Illustrator on the MacBook. Sorry, Adobe. It is. It's true. Then we go to Layers, and we're going to lock it. And then we're going to create a new layer, and there's that layer right there, and we're going to exit out of there. So now you can just use your fingers to zoom in, and we are going to make sure we don't have any fill, because it's harder to trace with a fill. And we've got the black. Um, now, after we're done tracing, we can adjust the stroke line. Okay, so now let's get started on tracing. I've already done this, so I'm gonna do it quickly. You wanna be as accurate as possible. I'm demoing, so I don't need to be accurate because this is not gonna be used. It's gonna be thrown away eventually. Pick the pen and let's start tracing. So I'm kind of in a weird position. Uh, e -E. That's my discomfort sound, it's a squeal. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. and we'll clean up the lines afterwards. So you can already see how lovely this is. I have the stool on the table, so I'm kind of maneuvering around the stool leg. So don't mind that. Now you can see how fast I'm going. Okay, when we get to the this part, part I like to be a little closer. Okay, and then we can zoom out. Okay, did you see how freaking quick that was? Now we wanna copy this line too, cause that's kind of like my anchor line that tells me how much to scale up the drawing. I have the line here programmed to have uh, measurements on it. So there we go, it's at 11.794 inches right now, but that's okay, because we're gonna expand it to 14 and 7 eighths, which I already have on the pattern. Someone's mentioned before the square inch or the two square inches. Uh, I have done that, but I find that this is more accurate when I do it like this. So I've been doing it like this, but whatever works for you, works for you, and you use that way. So 14 and 7 eighths is actually 14 and, so to find out the decimal you do 7 eighths, you would do seven divided by eight and that's 0.875. So we're gonna want this line to be 14.875 or 14.88, but I like to be accurate in real life because I work for clients and you like to impress them, you know what I mean? Because you impress people, you make more money, and it's just life's better like that. So first, let's get rid of this layer. Not totally get rid of it, we'll just blind it, poke its eye out, ah! and then it will disappear. And then we want to hit the lift, left arrow again Select everything and, oops, select everything. What are you doing? Oh, we have to select the layer. And then select everything. And we wanna group it, because I want the line to stay with the piece. So we would, still getting to know this thing, group it. Um, there's no typing shortcuts, which is kinda good, because this goes faster. Now it's grouped, and now we want to, um, turn it around. So these orange dots are anchors, or not anchors, um, pivots to turn it around. I don't know why you see it doing this shift like that. It's really weird. So you just kind of, uh, it's like really sensitive or something. Try to get it as straight as you can. For the sake of the tutorial, again, I'm just gonna do it quickly but you would do it better. So you can see that it was shifting weird on me. You can also hit this icon right here and you can do it this way too. 
So you'd want to zoom in. You want to see where it's at? It's probably about right there. We would make it straight. And then you would see it says 11.794, but we want it at what, 14.875? So once again, you select everything. And as you drag it, oh, hold on. Wait, slow down, people. So we want to lock it. You want the aspect ratios locked. Pretty important because you'll just ruin your whole pattern if you don't do that. And then pull it open or pull it wider. And you see it's growing. So it's already at 13 point, where is that at? 13.644. So we can go ahead and to be more accurate, you would zoom in. 14.032. This is the part that's kind of like, there's no easy, as far as I know right now, there's no easy way to do this. 14.9, so we go back, 14.873. I think that's as close as we're gonna get right now. I can spend the next minute perfecting that, and I don't know how to, you know, get the, this size is for resizing the entire, um, what would you call this, a enclosing box, but we don't want to adjust that. We want just this line in here, so. Maybe I'll email the app developers and ask them, or I'll Google the crap out of it. So there we go, 14.873. So that should be a perfect with the pattern right here. 14 and 7 eighths, which is actually 14.875. So this is 14.873. When it comes to patterns, you want everything right on because um, pretty much pattern drafting is all about perfection. It really is. Some things you relax on, but most things you can't. So now uh, let's get this artboard shrank or shrunk. I don't know how you say it. Go ahead and correct me if you feel like it. Okay, we got that. And we got that. So it's pretty small now. And then we want to double tap that. And this is the bodice front return, cut uh, one on fold, return, size small, return, uh, let's see, I'll put the date to 11, 16, and then you can put your name or the company name. And there we go. And then we probably wanna group this too. Um, grading on the app. I haven't experimented with that yet. I really hope that we can grade on the app. I kind of doubt it, but I think uh, as the app grows, w there might be more options to do something like that. So there you have it. Did you, I mean, I was doing a tutorial and did you see how fast we did this right here? Um, so in an ideal world, what, I don't know how to rename them. I, I should Google it because everything's called Untitled. I've looked everywhere. I can't figure it out. Um, you would do the front, you would do, I see I've done this plenty of times, I was practicing, then you would do the back, um, and then you would combine them, and I walked them as well. Well, it's time to shut it down, but if you want to learn more, let me know what would you like to see. I'm going to keep doodling with this and see uh, what else we can come up with, but pretty much, if you like pattern drafting, um, or maybe you sit on a bus a lot or or you're sitting offices a lot, I don't know what you're doing, breaks at work. Get an iPad Pro if it's in your budget. Uh, this thing is really awesome. It's really making my business go a lot. Uh, what's the word? I don't even have the word for it. Mo better. <laughs> I'd like to thank everyone for watching and give you a glimpse into a future tutorial coming up. I was walking by and saw this dress in a store down by my house and thought that it would be a good dress to practice uh, pattern drafting on either the iPad Pro or uh, the Adobe Illustrator program. So we'll see if the iPad Pro can handle it. Um, thanks for watching again, and I'll see you very soon. Bye.